Hi, welcome to the second part of my mini series. Uh, in this series, I'm unpacking uh, this set of classic tutorials from uh, Toots for You uh, with the help of my tools. Uh, that is a PEC and tiny tracer, and I'm showing uh, how much uh, faster you can make unpacking of uh, this type of uh, simple packers. And, and today's task. Uh, is um, about unpacking uh, AS Pack. It's an old version of AS, AS Pack, but some of those tricks will also work on the new version. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a Notepad. It's an old version of, of Notepad um, that was given for this task. Uh, first, I will take a look how it looks in paper. And yeah, the execution starts in the section is pack. Here um, we have the imports. And well, um, very often uh, the packers, um, they, they pack not only the code, but they pack also the import table. So here in the, as an import table, we will see only the imports that are used by the stub but not the imports load, loaded um, that, that are used for the original code. I think um, this is not the case. This looks to me like um, the, like the uh, import table that could actually be used by uh, this payload. But uh, we will verify this. Um, for now, I think, I think in this case, we don't have to rebuild a full import table. Mm, yeah, we will see. Uh, and I will start um, unpacking this application from tracing it with the help of Tiny Tracer. Uh, if you didn't saw this tool, um, check out my other video uh, in which I'm explaining how to set up um, Tiny Tracer and where to where to find all the needed components. Uh, so yeah, I'm just tracing it. And on the trace log, uh, we can see uh, we can see in the cold APIs, but uh, we can also see uh, the transitions between the sections. So we uh, we can see here that it, the execution started in the section AS pack, and then AS pack uh, jumped into the text, and uh, then something got executed from the text, and then jumped back to AS pack. So um, I don't think this first transition to the text is the original entry point because it jumped back and um, probably here it is just loading the imports. And yeah, this, this time at the end ASPAC jumps to text and execute the section text. So I think this is the last jump and this is the um, this is the original entry point, I guess. So uh, let's copy it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the window executed. We can close it. The tracing will finish. Yes. Yeah, and by the way, uh, this type of trace log can be also uh, loaded um, with the help of um, Piber. So um, we can walk through all those addresses and see them. And you see here we have some addresses that are marked red. So this thing is not present in the original code. This thing has been um, just added in the memory dynamically. Uh, so yeah, I think my my guess that this is the original entry point was correct because this will be in the unpacked code. And fine. And now I'm gonna run it again and I will try to dump it uh, with PC. Yeah, 
let's check the speed of this application first. Oh, I drag and drop somehow it's not working. Okay, fine. 3060. I will first dump it without any parameters and see what happens. Okay, I, I tried to run it and of course it crashed because uh, we have to fix this dump. Okay, uh, first thing what we can see is that imports get imports um, get overwritten just uh, during the load the tanks got overwritten so we don't see the names of the functions this can be fixed very easily i will see um look at the section look at the sections how they are uh, dumped well uh, it didn't remap the sections um it just unmapped the full pe so I don't think I don't think it filled those addresses. I don't think we will have here this original entry point field. But there is a way to fix it and I will show you. Yes, it is um yeah, as you see, it is detecting that this address is um, not in the in the raw data of of the section. It is in the virtual case, so it is in something that has been added um, here, but during the process of unpacking. Uh, so we have to enforce PC uh, to dump it in a different mode. And uh, yeah, I will show you maybe what are the dump modes. I have one video in which I explain them in details, but now I will just explain you briefly. Mm, there are uh, three dump dump modes. Uh, on by default, it is set in auto detect mode, so it is supposed to um, detect when each of those types is needed. But sometimes it fails, and then we can. Uh, we can switch them manually and for example today you saw that uh, it un it um, dumped it in unmapped, mo um, unmapped mode so it converted it to raw but uh, it, we are missing some data so we need to enforce it to uh, unmap it realigned and in realigned mode uh, the um, virtual uh, and raw and the raw section will be the same as virtual so if anything got added here uh, it will be present in the dump so uh, now i will dump it uh, enforcing the mode 3 and i'm gonna reload it Yes, and you see that now uh, virtual section uh, got converted to raw as like in a one-to-one -one relationship. So the, all the addresses that are present in virtual will be present in the raw and I will see if the entry point is present. Uh, yes, it is. So this thing looks fine. But also we need to recover imports. And um, I will try first not to rebuild the import table from the scratch because I don't think uh, the import table for the um, payload will be fully dynamically loaded. I think this is the correct import table, that what we have here. Uh, so uh, all we need is just to, um, just to fix, uh, fix those, those names and um, yeah, it can be done simply by by running uh, imp with option 2 or with option without options uh, without additional parameters 
uh, it will um, try to auto detect the mode in which it should down the import table so we can run run it also without any parameters here mm, yes and let's reload it and now it looks well Uh, what about uh, the access to the sections? I think the only only thing that we need to modify is making this text section executable. We don't need others to be executable, only this one. And um, yeah, of course, changing the entry point. Entry point is here. Let's set it and let's, let's save it. And we will see if it runs now. And yes, it runs, so it was very simple as you can see. Um, maybe just very quickly uh, I will I can show you uh, the other mode of reconstructing imports and we will compare them um, you see here there is a report also generated um, by PC during the dumping and, um, and and detecting what are the imported functions that are loaded in the executable so of course we can see here um, plenty of functions from that are from this table, um, the, this original import table, but we see also some others uh, that are also loaded in the memory that it does not belong to this import table. Maybe they were loaded dynamically or maybe they are part of some other import table. Um, I don't know, but if we we can enforce um, PEC to uh, dump all those, um, all those imports and um, just add them into the import table. I mean, and dump the dump, dump the PE with uh, reconstructing the import table, and in this new import table, all the possible imports uh, will be added. So no matter if they they were in the original table or if they were loaded dynamically, and uh, we will have all of them. Let's try it. Yes, and and let's reload it. So yeah, you can see that in addition to to those imports, this original import table, um, as far as I remember, uh, this is a fixed one. So uh, we need this stuff. Yeah, so um, we can see that this import table became a lot bigger because now it consists not only of this original part but also of those other imports that were detected in the memory are included. Um, and it should also work without any problems. I will test it, just changing the section to executable and of course changing our entry point. So I will call it fix2. And let's see if this one also runs. Yes, both of them runs. One has more imports than the other, but both of them run the same. Well, um, in, in this particular packer, uh, we didn't really have to uh, reconstruct the import table. 
uh, we need to do it only in case if the mm, import table for the payload were, was compressed or somehow protected and um, it was loaded fully dynamically in the memory. And this time it was not so... Um, well, it was just for fun and you know, not something needed. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, the task is done, so thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.